this is certainly a bigger job than I ever anticipated it to be. Um, I should have known, you know, they have a whole crew of guys that come in to do this whenever they lay it. What's going on everybody? I'm Jeremy and I'm a fixer and this is a channel all about helping you fix and maintain your home so you can help others do the same. Today's video is part two of the video where I'm building out a paver patio with a fire pit inside. And so if you watch the last video, I'll link it in the description below. You can go watch it there if you haven't done it already. We're gonna finish everything up. We're gonna go ahead and shovel in all of the fill, compact it down, put sand on top of that, and then we're gonna lay our paver. So let's get to it. What I'm doing here is putting in a crushed shell as the base of the patio. Uh, you want your fine material to be on the bottom where you can compact it very good and tightly so that uh, when you put your pavers on, they're gonna have a firm foundation. So I'm just uh, shoveling over roughly uh, two yards worth of crushed shell. It might have been uh, closer to three yards by the time I was done. And then I'm just, as I did in the last video, just leveling out the shell uh, using some uh, some piping on either side of that straight edge and just getting it all level and uh, drawing it out putting in low spots and filling it in and uh, just leveling it all out and then here I'm using a hand tamper to uh, go ahead and, and compact everything if you have access to a gas powered tamper I would definitely use it. This was a little bit harder to do. Spraying a little bit of water to uh, just help get everything compacted. All right, progress is being made. If you can see here, I have all the shell put down. I have it tamped down now. I used a hand tamper for that just because it was like 60 bucks for four hours to rent one and or like $180 for the day or something like that. And I knew I was gonna need to do it over a couple different days. So my father-in-law had a hand tamper. I used that. I'll put a link in the description for one of those. I'll tell you what, it was a lot more work to do it that way. If you can get a, uh, a gas-powered one, it's going to be so much easier. Now, all the shell is down. What I've got to do now is put sand. And if you notice, this is where my parents' camper was, and it's gone. They have officially moved back to Pennsylvania. So I borrowed this trailer. That means that my dad's dump trailer was gone. But Lowe's has these bags, and it's a third of a yard per bag. I think they were $26 a bag or something. So not too too expensive. But I went ahead and got um, three of these bags, a yard of sand. I got to put another uh, inch, inch and a half worth of sand on top of that. That way when you put your pavers down, there's a little bit of give to get them level. And so I'm going to go ahead and start wheelbarrowing sand over to the, the fire pit area and then once I get it all moved over there I'll come back and level it all out and then I'll probably I'm probably going to rent a gas powered tamper and then after I lay my pavers I will tamp that down on top uh, so a lot more shoveling a lot more well burn let's get to it All right, so today's a big day. Yesterday I went through and I piled up all of the bricks all the way around this. Let's see if you can see that. Because if you notice right there, I rented a compactor today. So this whole project, because I got the bricks for free, I tried to do everything as, as inexpensively as possible. You remember I used a hand tamp for the shell just to get that compacted, but I really want to make sure that it's perfectly level and so I rented one of these um, tampers, compactors, whatever you call them. I'm going to lay my pavers and then I'm going to throw sand over top of it, brush those into the cracks, and then tamp it down again. Um, I want everything to be perfectly level as, as best I can and there just wasn't going to be an easy way to do that using that hand tamper. So that's the project, that's the plan. This thing is like $58 for four hours at uh, Home Depot, and I'm going to try to get it done in four hours. That's a little optimistic, I know, but we'll see. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so hopefully I can get it done. Otherwise, it's $83 for the day. Now, I laid out the lines of where 
I'm going to put the pavers. And this is going to be my front corner. Obviously, it's going to go that way, and it's going to go this way. Now, that line's a mistake. I'm ignoring that line. I basically popped this line in line with that sidewalk up there, that door where the dog's sitting. And then this line, I used a little geometry. And there's several right triangle patterns that you can use. And the one I used was the 12, 5, 12, 13 pattern. And the way that that one works is you measure from your corner up 5 feet, which is where that nail is. And then you measure basically 13, 12 feet this way and 13 feet this way. Pop your line right at that point, uh, which is over there. I laid a tape measure between here to here. And then I pop my line on the 13 mark. And that's going to give me a perfect right angle. So obviously I'm going to start my pavers here and work out that way. So let's get going. Basically you want to run your compactor over, throw sand down, run your compactor over back and forth until the sand no longer fills down into the cracks. It took me about three times of doing it or so and then all of the cracks were filled in. You can see there's always a little bit of gap so you just keep doing it and eventually you'll have all those cracks filled. Alright, so the whole point of washing all of that dirt away is really more to compact it and let that water settle that dirt down in between the cracks of all the pavers. I'll show you the pattern that I ended up using. I did this edging, just solid brick. If I wanted to, I could have mitered those, but I don't have the tools to miter it. So I just went around like that. And then on the inside, it's just staggered, you know, two bricks together in a staggered sort of cross weave pattern. Florida weather is fickle this time of year. I've been trying to finish this project for a week or so now and it's just been raining every single day. And what I gotta do is I'm gonna show you right here. So what you do with these pavers on the outside edge is you actually put some concrete uh, to make a little curb. It keeps the bricks from trying to separate. And I've been trying to do that all week, but it's been trying to rain on me every afternoon. So this morning, before the rain comes, it's supposed to rain about noon or so, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the edges concreted all around so that hopefully tomorrow or in the next day or two, we can seal the whole thing and make it make it solid, make it stain proof and, and really finish this project up. All right, so a couple things. I'm gonna have a bucket of water and a sponge ready to go. Just in case I get concrete on the top of the bricks, I want to make sure I'm able to clean that off. I'm going to go ahead and put some concrete in here and mix it up. You don't want to mix your concrete too wet just so that it doesn't level out on you. You want to be able to make that curve and have it stick. So let's put some concrete in here and we'll mix it up. So another good thing about having a sponge and a bucket of water is it's an easy way to get water into your mixing bucket so that you don't overdo it. Okay. 
there you go so that's the consistency that you want not too wet you want it to sort of still hold its shape a little bit and you don't really have to be uh, too clean with this because it's going to be below the ground level anyway you just basically want to make it so that the bricks not going to uh, separate from each other take a little bit of that clean that out and I'm just staying down uh, maybe a quarter of an inch you want there to be a little bit of room for dirt so that your grass or whatever you put over it will have enough ground there to take root This is certainly a bigger job than I ever anticipated it to be. Um, I should have known, you know, they have a whole crew of guys that come in to do this whenever they lay it. So if I were going to do this all over again, I would probably, if I wasn't filming it for you all, I would probably hire it out. It's just, it's a ton of work. I bet it's taken me um, a full week if you add it up all the time, spread out over a month, month and a half. And so uh, there's a reason that they bring a team in of guys to do this it's it's certainly a lot of work it can be done and you can do it on a budget if you want to save some money and you could probably do it in a weekend if you had enough friends helping you if you're interested at all in uh, the cost of this project what it cost me to do it now granted the pavers were free and some of this other stuff my father got for me on Lowe's discount deal so if you're interested at all in that I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can go see what the cost of this project was if you haven't seen the first part of this project you can go check that video out here thanks so much for watching this video if you like it please hit like subscribe to the channel and as always get out there and fix something we'll see you on the next video